This video is dedicated to all of my subscribers who are a little lazy, just like me. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and before I start this video, I would like to clarify that by any means I'm not promoting laziness in graphic designing. I still believe that if you want to be good at it, you need to do a lot of hard work. But sometimes you just feel lazy and you need to get some work done. So here's the solution for that. So after that, uh, this is the image and this is the background file or for the double exposure I'm gonna use. So as you can see, I have already selected a PNG file so you don't even have to cut background on this one. See, we are going pro level lazy. So uh, if you want to use any of these files, the download link is in description so feel free to use it. So first of all, this image. So as you can see, it has really simple background. So how do we cut it? Uh, right click on your eraser tool here and select a magic eraser tool and just do a simple click on the white background and your background is done really it's that simple uh, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna avoid masking as much as possible because hey lazy people don't care about masking masking is for pussies so uh, that so since that is done as you can see the background is almost clear so after that select your crop tool from here and extend it something like this and a little bit from here like that not that much you know what something like this and then hit ok after that uh, select your layer press ctrl T and make it bit smaller so it just looks nicer in proportion nothing else after that we need to create a new blank layer so for that click on this little icon here then select your paint bucket tool and make sure it's white color and fill it and then put this white layer under model layer so the basic output is ready after that go back here and here as you can see we need to bring this file into this document so press ctrl A then ctrl C and then come back here and then press ctrl V if this box appears hit ok uh, then uh, adjust it a little bit make it bigger or something like that you know what let's make it smaller and we do not need this grass area so I'm just gonna directly erase that because hey who got time for masking so I'm using this really crazy brush it's default in Photoshop you don't need to worry about it you can find it on your brush panel so I'm just gonna simply erase it from here uh, like that see I am still doing like trying to avoid masking because that requires a little bit more time than this one so uh, you get the idea so once that is done uh, you need to change this image bending mode to the lighten so as you can see the basic thing is you get the idea you know it's it has started looking much much better so now when I make it smaller by pressing ctrl T as you can see uh, let's make it a bit more bigger like that and confirm the selection from here now we need to get rid of the unnecessary area now we are going to use mask but a smarter way Hold down your control key and then click on this model layer. So you have a selection of her. Then select your leaves, uh, the tree layer and then click on this mask here. See, it already looks better. Now hold down your control key and select both of this layer. Press control T and make it bigger. Uh, just like that. And this way hit enter. So this looks already fine. Then create a new blank layer and select solid color and in the solid select a dark blue color you don't even need a coat select any dark blue color you are lazy remember and then go and select exclusion mode and then decrease the opacity uh, something like that then create another layer select curves and then make it brighter from here a bit darker from here and you have really nice contrast just like that and now if you want to modify it anytime just uh, remove this link from here select your tree layer and move tool and now you can move it any way you want so if you want something like this like this uh, you can do it any how you want so this way you can create really effective double exposure without using too much time and effort and if you found it helpful hit that like button comment something that helps my videos a lot plus if you want to learn about this effect even more in depth uh, you can check out my these two advanced level double exposure tutorials uh, so check them out plus uh, you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you'll get an update or you can visit my youtube channel by clicking on that same subscribe button and check out my 65 plus free photoshop tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop